නියෝජනය තියෙනවා අමාත්‍යංශ නිවේදන ගරු මංගල සමරවීර මැතිතුමා මිස් ස්පීකර් තැන්ක් යු අයි රයිස් ටු මේක් අ ස්ටේට්මන්ට් ඔන් ද 19ත් සාක් සමිට් දැට් වොස් ටු බි හෙල්ඩ් ඉන් ඉස්ලාමබාද් ඔන් ද 9ත් ඇන්ඩ් 10ත් ඔෆ් නොවැම්බර් දිස් ඉයර් ඇන්ඩ් මැටර්ස් ඉන් කනෙක්ෂන් විත් රීජනල් කෝපරේෂන් ඉන් සවුත් ඒෂියා ඔන්රබල් ස්පීකර් ඇස් ද හවුස් ඉස් අවයා Sri Lanka is a founder member of the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation commonly known as SAR. Sri Lanka was in fact among the earliest countries in the region to support the concept of regional cooperation when it was first discussed. Therefore when uh, SAR was conceptualized we were naturally among the original signatories to the charter of SAR on the 8th of December 1985. Successive governments in Sri Lanka throughout SAC's history of over three decades since 1985 have remained faithful to regional cooperation through SAC. I recall the words of President Jaya Jayawardhan at the first summit in Dhaka on the 7th of December in 1985, where he said, I quote, we approach our task with hope and with optimism, for we believe that as the full potential of our venture comes to be realized, its benefit will be incalculable to the welfare of our several peoples and our, and our countries manifesting our firm commitment to regional cooperation sri lanka assumed the responsibility of chairing uh, sarc and providing leadership to the organizations on three occasions sri lanka was host to sarc summit in 1991 1998 and 2008 we have always been active participants in sarc contributing to the realization of objects objectives envisioned in the charter to promote the welfare of the peoples of south asia and to accelerate economic growth social progress and cultural development in the region we we can i believe mr speaker be modestly proud that sri lanka has taken all the steps that could possibly taken to work with countries in the region since sarc's inception to explore ways and means of making sarc improve the lives of people and making sarc relevant to people so that they realize the value of working together of cooperating with each other with each other and they see regional cooperation as an essential means to ensure the betterment of their lives from promoting greater economic liberal liberalization and cooperation to improve physical connectivity and trade enhancing people to people contact cultural cooperation facilitating deep understanding of each other's traditions practices literature cultures and promoting the sarc brand technical cooperation in all areas including governance security agriculture and a host of other fields sri lanka also promoted the concept of exploring possibilities of working together to address global issues such as energy security food security and climate change that impact impact the development strategies of all the countries in the region we supported sarc as the ideal platform for our leaders to meet and discuss to take common questions on issues that affect us collectively as a region and seek practical and pragmatic solutions sri lanka's united vision irrespective of politi- political party affiliations within our country i believe is for an inclusive plural and rapidly developing region that benefits all the people of south asia a south asian association of regional cooperation that is an efficient and effective mechanism that makes a positive impact on the people of the region translating the vision of the charter into reality a south asia of peace friendship and prosperity where its borders will see the free flow of people goods and ideas without fear without fear truly a region of prosperity mr speaker addressing the first sarc summit in 1985 president jayawardhan also said this the greater we understand each other easier becomes the realizations of our goals there can be no successful regional cooperation without mutual confidence without mutual trust it cannot be denied honorable speaker that peace and security is a primary requirement for the fulfillment of our vision of prosperity and meaningful cooperation in the region 
It cannot also be denied that regional cooperation uh, can never reach its optimum potential as long as intractable bilateral issues prevail. Terrorism, as we all know, is an issue that must unite our region, not divide our region. It is a menace that has taken a heavy toll on the economic and social fabric of almost all our countries. Terrorism poses an existential threat to the civilized world, and it must be defeated. Sri Lanka has always been firm in denouncing terrorism in all its forms and manifestations. One thing I just order, please. I wish to announce that this House cordially welcomes Her Excellency Mrs. Krista Mark Walders, Speaker of the National Council of the Federal Assembly of Switzerland, and the Secretary General, Mr. Secretary General, Mr. Philip Shaw of the Switzerland Parliament, now present at the Speaker's Gallery, accompanied by His Excellency Ambassador for Switzerland. Go ahead, Honourable Minister. It is indeed a great pleasure to welcome the Speaker. Thank you. Uh, in the region, we have in place, as you know, such as the SARC Regional Convention on Suppression of Ter Terrorism, the 2004 Additional Protocol on Terrorism, and the SARC Ministerial Declaration of 28 February 2009 on Cooperating in Combating Terrorism, translation of such instruments and declarations into implementation, therefore, is essential. Honorable Speaker, it is time that our region united in its resolve to eliminate this scourge. All the leaders of South Asia, I firmly believe, must unite and take a firm stand and decisive action to eliminate terrorism, which stands as an obstacle to the achievement of the goals that we envision for our region. The people of the region of South Asia deserve better living standards, better infrastructure, better education, peace, prosperity, security, and friendship, and we must not fail them. There were concerns, Mr. Speaker, being expressed by some regarding the statement issued by the government in relation to the postponement of the 19th SARC summit, which was to be held in Islamabad uh, next month. At this point, Honorable Speaker, uh, at no point, Mr. Speaker, I would like to stress, did the government of Sri Lanka pull out of the 19th SARC summit at no point did the government of Sri Lanka decide to boycott the SARC summit to be held uh, in November. Those who made those allegations and accusations either do through ignorance or lack of knowledge of the SARC charter. As the members of this House are aware, the, the general provisions of the charter of SARC prescribes that, I quote, Decisions at all levels shall be taken on the basis of unanimity. Therefore, the moment one country says that they are unable to attend the SARC summit, a SARC summit cannot be held. Sri Lanka wa SARC samulwe varjane karanati indu karai kela yam yam pudgalyan kiwa puat pat kiwa eka sampoorne ma nivaradi atwa sem SARC pranyaptiyanu. Sak Vivasta Vanua Eka Rata Ko, Eka Rata Kanayake Ko, Emma Samuluata Noenam, Emma Samulua Tianata Bay, make a Palavinivata with Rakteme, keep Ata Vakma Sak Samulua, Mevani Tatuan Yatate, Kaldanata Siduela Tianoa, Lankava Api Apage Kanaga to a Prakashata Sak Samuluata. Pavatvima, the Barivim again, Kanaga to Prakashakare, Evenokota, Ratova, Tunak, Hatarakma, Eta, Noenabava, Danundu, Main, Pasuai. There was therefore no question of Sri Lanka pulling out of SARC or Sri Lanka saying that we will not attend the summit as there was no summit to attend. Sri Lanka issued a statement after several countries had informed the current chair of SARC. Nepal formally that they are unable to attend the summit and after the chair that is Nepal issued a statement as well. In our statement we express regret, regret that the prevailing environment in the region with several countries having stated their inability to attend the summit is not conducive 
for holding the summit on the 9th and 10th of November, and we expressed hope that the steps required to ensuring our region's peace and security will be taken to create an environment that is conducive for the pursuit of regional cooperation. Mr. Speaker, as a country that is committed to regional cooperation, and as a country that clearly perceives the benefits of regional cooperation for the people of Sri Lanka and the wider South Asian region, we stand ready to participate in the ninth SARC summit whenever it is being held. It is my solemn hope, Honorable Speaker, that this would be the moment that all the leaders in our region resolve to forget past failures, break with the past, and unite in good faith and in sincerity work together for the greater good and greater benefits of the people of our region. Thank you. Thank you very much. Minister.